Local filmmakers are now working with local actors to shine a spotlight on homelessness, something that impacts every single county in Texas. Our Jarrell Baker tonight has a look at the effort to profile those searching for a new home and a fresh start. How dare you bring that filth into our house? Every person without a home has a story. Not everybody's there because, you know, the drug addicts are drunks or causing trouble or lazy. You know, some people are just down and out and just, just don't have a place to go. And that's why Serenity and Antonio Edward are working with Central Texas actors to produce a raw and gripping short film. Where people anticipate the bad and they expect the bad. Mm -hmm. Our story's not bad. Yeah. A lot of stories are not bad. They say come back tomorrow. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. <laughs> the filmmakers say the movie Eight Bucks is based on their own experience when they also had no place to call home. We have to get ourselves out of that. Exactly. And if we didn't work hard towards it, then we would have been one of those lazy ones that will probably still be homeless today. You know, um, exactly. and not, not every homeless person is like that. There are, there are those that are trying to get out of that situation, and that was us. The Edwards say they were laid off from their six-figure IT jobs in Arizona several years ago and had to endure months of homelessness in Texas until they got back on their feet. During that time, they remember others in the homeless community coming together to give food, money, and support. There is a community out there. They do take care of each other in that corner. Um, not to say that every community is like that, but at least the one that we were involved in, we felt safe. The filmmakers say they're also sharing other stories. Those who were rejected because of their sexuality, down on their luck after a divorce, and suffering from addiction and more. All they need is an opportunity or a chance, just like we did when we were homeless. They believe the film will shed a light on the homeless community and show that they're people with pride, hopes, and dreams. In Colleen, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. Well, the couple received a grant from the Clean Art Commission to help fund that film. It should debut in March. According to the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness, Texas has over 27,000 homeless people across the state. 4,000 were homeless for at least a year out of that number. Texas has one of the highest percentages in the country with 4.7 percent. That is just behind California, New York, and also Florida. City of Waco is trying to break the stigma and some of the myths surrounding homelessness. Many are not lazy, but just trying to escape abusive relationships and don't have anywhere to go. Another myth, homeless people should simply get a job. It's almost impossible for a lot of them to get work without an address or contact information. So that is a struggle. Another myth, homeless people can't lead productive lives. Many in the homeless population were respected members of society at one point. Finally, the myth, the homeless is not my responsibility. They are members of our community. We all need to work together to make our community a better place.